Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Um, I guess I've been gone for a long time, but I'm back now. I think I just had to rest. I was very, very tired handling work. Then doing videos was just too, too much. Plus the other stuff was quite overwhelming. But hopefully I'll post for the coming, maybe for the next 30 days. Hopefully I'll be consistent. Back to being consistent and without taking breaks. Otherwise, um, I hope you guys are doing alright. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Welcome and feel free to suggest anything you guys that you want anything you guys want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to it and i'm saying we again because it's a two people channel and yeah so just suggest something and we'll be more than glad to do it or i'll be more than glad to react to it so today i'm going to be reacting to god is one and religion is one dr zakina ik doesn't seem like a question but it sounds like an interesting topic is God one and is religion one? Uh, I'd really, really love to speculate, but let's just jump straight into the video and see what the video is about. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hello, Dr. Naik sahab. Yahan par jitni bhi baatein hui, most probably English mein hui. Aur yahan par sab itne padhe likhe log nahi hai ki wo aap sirf English samjh sake. Most probably to jo bhi aapke lecture ya bhasan honne chahiye the na wo yahan par local bhasa mein honne chahiye the excuse me brother excuse me let me coordinate uh, we have been called here zakir has been invited by the organizers here to give a talk in english and have a question answer that what questions you have to address i would request you to kindly after the program address to the organizers question mera baki hai question mera baki hai so you put forward your question. Urdu may be the agar aap question uh, put forward karenge. Inshallah, agar uh, speaker usko, he'll explain English and answer it. Nahi bura hai bed or sastar. Nahi Quran bura hai. Bina samji baate or be samja vakyan bura hai. Samjho tum apni baato or sabka dhyan bura hai. Apne apne hisab se socho ki us prabhu ka samman nahi bura hai. Or universal brotherhood ke pehle se jahan bhi koi baatein honi chahiye wahan par mazhab ki koi baat nahi honi chahiye mazhab se upar uthkar baat honi chahiye kyun mazhab se upar uthna hi us allah taala ko paana hai us parmatma ko paana hai aur pehle god ka meaning samjho ki god ka meaning kya hai god goddess kuch nahi hota g o d that super power is controlling the nature and that nature is having three parts g o d god g for generator o for operator d for destroyer that nature is generating us that nature is operating us. That nature is destroying us. We are being generated. We are being operated. We are being destroyed. Is my goddess or god ka meaning kuch bhi nahi hai. Or god ka asli meaning kuch bhi nahi hai. Allah ta'ala god se upar hai. Parmeshwar god se upar hai. Parvardigar god se upar hai. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. The brother has summarized my lecture in a very short way. Alhamdulillah. I thank him. He rightly said there is no god and goddess. That's what I explained. He explained in Hindi so that those who don't understand English can understand. I would like to thank you, brother. He explained very well. There's no God, there's no Goddess. Allah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is superior. And I agree with him. Thank you, brother. And he rightly said that there should not be different religions. I agree with you. There should not be different religions. Because Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, in Nadina in the Islam, the only way of life acceptable is the person who submits his will to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And I agree with you, brother that if you fight amongst yourself in religion, there's bound to be differences. And there should be no differences. And the brother also made certain comments that Shias, etc., and different religion, and the 73 firkas. I can give that answer. It requires time. If you want to know the answer, you can pose it. I'll give you the reply for that also, why talking about different firkas, etc. But the brother rightly says that there should be only one religion, one way of life. And that is submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you believe in that, there has to be universal brotherhood. If you don't believe in that, there is bound to be disharmony. Thank you very much, brother. I mean, this thing of actually having religions, not just 
castes, religion, not just different religions. There is many things that separate us. If we can't even um, if we can't even recognize other people as human beings, equal human beings to us, how can we conquer this um, separation that comes with religion? First, let's start by recognizing that, okay, my neighbor is a person and they're equal to me. What I do to them, I expect them to do unto me. Um, treat them with respect, not because I don't even want to give an example of giving. I'd rather go for... Um, respect respect your neighbors they respect you back um do good they do good ba uh, back um to you as well once we accept that we're humans that we're humans and there's not there's not a funny out there there's not a this out there we're just humans at the end of the day maybe we can one day if god was find ways to be together it's not all about just accepting someone with their flaws. We should come together and accept and respect what each and everyone thinks. If this man thinks they should be one religion, fine. If the next person says, hmm, I don't think that's going to work out for me. I just want to stick to what I know. I don't want to believe in this. I want to believe in that. It's all about respecting that person. Of course, you can... Um, Tell them one or two things to guide them, but at the end of the day, let them do as they will. And if they really want to be guided, guidance from God will find them, either through you, through them, through many different ways. God uses many different ways to uh, reach out to people. Otherwise, I wish this video was longer because we don't know what, how much was spoken um in the lecture by Dr. Zaki Naik, we just have this question and he briefly touches on it. I I honestly, I love that this is the first thing that I'm reacting to. It's opening me up to more stuff. It's preparing me for what's to come in the next few videos that I'll be reacting to um, as the day goes by or months or year, whatever the case is. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this topic. What are your thoughts? Should we have one religion or should we stay segregated and just believe in whatever we believe and life goes on? What are your thoughts? Uh, if there's something that you guys want, want me to react to, let me know by dropping the link in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.